Hey guys, um, so this is a Boyer Schultz 612 surface grinder that I'm uh, I'm trying to clean up, uh, and so I'm tearing it down a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to clean it up, uh, make sure that I'm all good here. And uh, one of the things that I had real trouble with was uh, getting the motor off the back of this thing. Um, so here's the motor down here. Uh, as you can see, I had to kind of take the motor apart uh, to get it off. So it, it mounts back here to a plate. Um, so basic, I didn't find this online anywhere. I read about it a little bit. Uh, I saw a couple pictures, but no videos. Uh, somebody did an awesome tear down and uh, kind of build back up, clean up a uh, uh, basement machine shop. It, he was really helpful. Uh, but there's one thing that I, I could not find anywhere was how to get the, the motor plate off. Um, so you can see here, this thing, it's a Lovejoy coupling, and you got some, I can't even turn it, but there's some set screws uh, right there, and there's one at 90 degrees as well, so it's right down there. Now those things were really set in there, really tough, um, so I had to croil those for uh, a couple days. But the way it's supposed to come off, according to the instructions, is you, you, line, you line the motor up with these holes right here. This one, this one, and there's two on this side, and there's some set screws in there, and they go, I don't know if you can see that, but they go, they fit in right in there in all, in all four spots right there. So that mates to this angle right here on these bolts, and uh, that holds the motor plate and the motor in, um, but that did not work for me um, because the Lovejoy coupling was was so enamored of itself, its, it's mate here, that it just would not come loose um, according to the instructions. Now what I see here is there's another set screw that was holding it on uh, onto the shaft. Uh, and so when I finally got this set screw off, uh, like I said, it took an impact wrench, impact driver, um, and I just, I just couldn't get it off, but it, it, it took a while. But once I got that off, um, then it, it loosened up. So if you guys ever need to take your motor off so you can get it to spindle, etc., etc., that's how you do it on a Boyer 612. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I couldn't find it anywhere else, so I figured I'd post this just, uh, just in case. Okay, take care.